This video is sponsored by Surfshark. So on this side, we've got the S20 FE, a phone that offers flagship specs at a slightly more affordable price tag. And on this side is the newly launched S21, Samsung's most affordable flagship in years, with a few trade-offs, of course. Hi everyone, Ta here. I've used and reviewed both. So if you're choosing between the two, let's take a closer look to see if I can help you decide. The difference in size is the first thing I'd consider. The S21 is the smaller phone. It's also about 20 grams lighter too. They both have a polycarbonate, AKA plastic back, with a matte finish that's sort of slippery. It's all preference, but I do feel like the S21 has the better design though. It's more modern, and I really like that the frame along the sides here is wider, so it's easier to grip if you're going caseless. With the S20 FE, you're getting a 6.5 inch screen versus the 6.2 on the S21. So you just have to ask yourself, do you want a larger display or not? Both are 120 Hertz with a full HD plus resolution. Although the S21 does have a dynamic AMOLED display, letting it automatically adjust the refresh rate to save power. It's also protected with Gorilla Glass Victus versus the Gorilla Glass 3 on the FE. So technically, the S21 should have a more durable display against scratches or drops. Peak brightness is also higher on the S21, but being honest, I haven't had any problems using the FE outdoors at all. It's not something I'd worry about. If I had to choose, I think the S21 has a slightly better looking display. Both phones have a single hole punch cutout at the top, but you'll notice that the one on the FE is not only larger, it also has this silver ring around it. I point this out because it does make the cutout more noticeable, which can take away from the viewing experience when you're watching stuff, especially darker scenes. Sound is subjective, but for what it's worth, I did a blind test playing music and a movie on both, and every single time, I actually found myself choosing the FE over the S21. I just found it to have better clarity, especially for vocals and voices, which is what I prefer in my audio. At the end of the day, both sound good though. Both phones rock a fingerprint scanner found under the display. The difference is that the S21 uses an ultrasonic scanner, while the one on the FE is optical. In short, the fingerprint scanner on the S21 is going to be more secure and will even work with wet hands. The scanner on the S21 is by far the best I've used on any Samsung phone. The one on the FE gets the job done, but I'm not a fan of how the scanner lights up. It can be really jarring, especially late at night. I also prefer the placement on the S21. It just feels like a more natural placement for my thumb. The S21 will, of course, have the newer processor paired with eight gigs of RAM instead of the six that comes in the FE. I consider myself a typical smartphone user, and even when I'm jumping back and forth between like four or five different apps, I've never seen the RAM usage spike above six on the S21. Having the extra headspace of eight gigs is nice though, especially if you're a gamer or doing heavy multitasking in dex mode. For most, you should be okay with six gigs. Both phones start at 128 gigs of storage, but the FE actually has a micro SD card slot, while the S21 doesn't. If you film a lot of video, especially in 4K, that storage is gonna fill up pretty fast. That's where I think the expandable storage comes in real handy, as a cheap, quick, trouble-free solution to add more storage, especially on a vacation or trip. So yeah, I gotta give the edge to the FE here. The FE has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery bundled with a 15 watt charger, while the S21 has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery without a charger in the box. Both have very good battery life and easily last an entire day for me. If you want the best between the two, I'd go with the FE. Now, if you're looking for the best way to protect your online identity, you need to check out today's video sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN used to encrypt data sent to and from your devices. This makes sure nobody can see where you are and what you're doing online, which is super relevant on sketchy public Wi-Fi. Being a Canadian, one of my favorite uses for Surfshark is to access content from other countries. Seriously, American Netflix is awesome. With one click, 
I can discover content from anywhere, even Japan. What's really crazy is that there's no limits to the number of devices you can connect at a time. So with one account, everyone in the family is covered. Try Surfshark now by clicking the link below and using my promo code TAO. You'll get 83% off and three months completely free. So a lot of the marketing for the S21 is centered around these guys, the cameras. I was curious, so I ran out and did a quick comparison between the two just to see how they compare. Selfie video is sharper and wider on the FE since it has a 32 megapixel camera versus 10 on the S21. Unfortunately, if you want stabilization on the FE, you'll have to drop it down to 4K 30. The S21 on the other hand is nice and stable across every resolution. Footage on the back is really similar. There really isn't a massive difference between them unless you really try to nitpick. Personally, I might lean more towards the S21, but it's really a toss up based on my test footage. The S21 can also shoot up to 8K video, but come on now, 4K is more than enough for most people. When it comes to pictures, the theme is just how comparable they are. With selfies, it's hard not to like the extra resolution on the FE. The S21 gives me a more natural vibe, while the FE selfies tend to pop more. It kind of goes back and forth as to which I like more. Both phones can zoom up to 30 times. The S21 has the edge here with its 64 megapixel telephoto, but the FE ain't have bad either. I spent a good amount of time just looking at a bunch of samples side by side. You can see tiny differences between the two. I mean, one photo might be a little warmer and one might be a little brighter, but it's nothing you can't easily tweak in a photo editor. Both phones are running Android 11, but keep in mind the S20 FE launched with Android 10. Samsung does three years of OS updates, which means the FE will only get up to Android 13, while the S21 will get Android 14. Definitely something to consider if you value that extra update. With a $100 difference, it's really hard to argue that the S20 FE doesn't offer really good value. For most people, I think it's gonna be the better buy. And let's not forget, it literally came out just a few months back, so it's hardly old. But I will say, the S21 does feel like a more polished product to me. It's a good choice if you want something smaller and lighter. Hope this helps. Anyways, until the next one, I'm out of here.